In this video, we're going to talk about externalities. Now, we all make different personal decisions. For example, the decision to attend college or university. Well, that individual decision can actually have a positive impact on the community. Colleges and universities contribute a lot to the local economy, and they can also be connectors for people who might choose to start businesses. Your personal decision to go to school can have a positive impact on others. Similarly, your decision could have a negative impact. I'm in London, Ontario, and our schools here, Western University and Fanshawe College, are often home to large parties. Whether you want to attend that party or not is a personal decision. However, sometimes those personal decisions can affect people that do not go to the party in terms of property damage and other inconveniences. This is a negative impact on others of your personal decision. In economics, there's a name for that. It's called externality. An externality is the consequence of an economic decision, a transaction between two people or two agents. However, the effects are felt by a third party. Now, these could be positive, like the contribution to a local economy, or it could be negative, like property destruction. That's what we're talking about when we talk about externalities. Another classic example is a backyard fireworks display. I could choose to have a fireworks display in my neighborhood. There are positive externalities because people could enjoy the show without having to pay for it. Um, there could be negative ones. People might not like the noise. In either case, the market doesn't really have a way of pricing that effect. Externalities are a type of market failure because they affect other people that did not pay for the service. They did not choose to be a part of that transaction. A more practical example, if we recall our economic equilibrium, I like Junior Whoppers. Now I could choose to buy a Junior Whopper at a market price. Typically the price I'm willing to pay and the price the seller is willing to accept will lead us to make a sale, a successful transaction of a Junior Whopper at the market clearing equilibrium. But are others affected by that transaction? Are there any other externalities associated with that? Well, there are lots. For example, the impact on the supply chain, the agricultural sector will be influenced by my decision to do this or not. Within that, within that productive process, there's an impact on the biosphere. There's water used in that production process. There's effluent that's generated that might pollute the water. What about traffic congestion? The agricultural sector, the retail sector move goods around on highways with trucks that can cause air pollution. My decision to drive to get my Junior Whopper can cause traffic congestion. All of those different effects are felt by people outside of the initial transaction. Those are called externalities. Here's some classic examples of externalities that we consider in environmental economics. Traffic congestion. Traffic congestion is a big one. The decision to drive somewhere is an individual decision. Maybe you're driving to work, maybe you're driving to visit somebody or to get a junior whopper. What that does, however, lots of different people making those individual decisions will increase the number of vehicles on the road. That imposes a cost on everybody else. My decision to drive, my personal decision, could make things worse for everybody else by increasing the number of cars on the road and imposing an additional time cost on their commute. Another example would be air pollution. The market based decision to consume resources is one that is part of home heating, for example, manufacturing processes, the decision to open a firm to, to, to manufacture goods and services, um, power generation, all those things consume resources, but they generate an externality, air pollution. Now, again, this is a type of market failure because there's no price mechanism to account for that externality. Taxes, for example, like a carbon tax, might be used to try and do that to try and put a price on the externality to reduce the impact on third parties. So just to recap, we tried to introduce the concept of externalities, which is something that affects a third party that is not part of an initial transaction. It can be positive, it might be a good thing, or it could be negative, something like traffic congestion or air pollution.